Hi everyone, I'm Joanne Cabarus and welcome to the Doggo Bake Show. We will sculpt lots of dog breeds with polymer clay using minimal tools and lots of imagination. Come on in! Hi everyone, welcome to my sculpting show. If you're new to watching my show, welcome. And if you've been watching all the other episodes before this video, thank you so much. This is the 16th episode of the Doggo Bake Show. And if you haven't tried sculpting any dogs yet, I encourage you to try. I wanna be clear with you what exactly I wanna achieve with this show. So I wrote books on how to sculpt dogs, but my main purpose on writing these books is to encourage everyone who have not tried sculpt or create with your hands because so many times i've heard this from other people they have a fear of starting a project this is exactly why i created these books formulated steps that are very easy to follow it does not require sculpting skills and my ultimate purpose for these books is to teach you to create something with minimal tools, minimal materials, less tools, less clay, less time. And that's very important to me as an artist. For me to be able to fulfill that mission, let's start from the beginning, right? You will see how my art will contribute value to your daily lives. Today's episode is Papillon, the cute little white dog with fanning ears and loves to cook, but a little bit insecure. This smells good. Almost done cooking. Everybody's gonna love this. Something smells good. It's coming from down there. Oh, there she is. I hope I'm not too late. I brought my own dish with me. I can't wait to eat. Hey, Poppy, what's for dinner? I'm cooking chop suey. It's a Chinese dish. Oh, I know why. It's Poppy down there. She always cooks food at around this time. I can't quite pinpoint what food she's making today. I'm cooking crab soup. That sounds yummy. Oh, you know what? I have a great news. We now have a Doggo Bake Bone Phone. If you want to contact me, just dial 411 and 411. All right, that's it. I'm going to look at my sculpting calendar today and see who we are going to sculpt next. Supposed to be the Papillon, so that's perfect. Poppy's down there. I'm going to call Poppy now. Poppy! Poppy, come up here. Joanne is calling me. Not sure what she wants. I know you heard me, so come up here, okay? I'll be waiting. Hold on. Don't forget your food. Be back in five minutes. What is it, Joanne? Hi, Poppy. How are you? Why are you calling me? Did you forget that it's your time to model for me up here today? Oh, oh, oh. I got ya. I'm sorry. I don't keep track of your sculpting schedule. No problem. By the way, it smells so good down there. Who's watching your food then? Bye, Sanji. Oh, that's right. I remember he cooks down there too around this time of the day. Well, when you go back down there, bring him this, okay, in case something burns. Well, okay, let's get going then. Ready, set, go! Preparation. Polymer clay with mostly white. Toothpicks, brush and baby oil, any tool with rounded tip, scissors, and yarn. Doggo Bake Show, Doggo Bake Books, and the Papillon tutorial will be found in the Doggo Bake Book 1.
what do you think? That was easy, right? Papillon dog. And make sure the ears are fanning. That's the hallmark of a papillon dog. With this sculpture, you're gonna learn a little bit with trimming the yarn. There's a lot of layering on the fur, so to make it look like it's fanning. Always remember, never bake the sculpture with the yarn on it. It's a fire hazard, so don't do it. Don't forget to grab your copies of the Doggo Bake 1, 2, and 3. Learn 60 dog breeds to sculpt. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share my videos with your family and friends. Thank you very much, and join me next Friday for another dog. Ripa.